Hello, dear masters and colleagues. Starting from today, our channel will be broadcast in the native Ukrainian language. It is our policy and I believe it is quite clear. We've been keeping silent for three months since we had no moral strength to think of anything else except the misfortune our country and every resident of it had faced. However, time is passing by, it is hard and painful, but in order to get strength to revive, we do continue working for the sake of you and us and our future. Before the war, I had started experimenting with the technique of wrapping. The experiments are rather interesting. Here it is, and the one like this. But then everything stopped, and only three months later I can get back to my experiments. I'd like to show you such a small, interesting to my mind pattern. It is a kind of wrapping, but an interesting variety of it, the secrets of which I'd like to share with you today. As usual, everything started from experiments with old tubes. The tubes were prepared quite a while ago, so please take no notice of the quality. I've tried different colors and chosen the most natural ones. I've experimented with two options. By the way, this is an interesting point. You can compare the item that has already been coated and the one just woven, such a soft one. I've neither primed nor varnished it yet. So, for the master class I've chosen this option because I find this pattern look better and more impressive when woven with contrast working tubes and tubes of the base. I've decided to start the work in a bit different way than I usually do. As a rule, I use either a marker or a thick pen. This time I felt like experimenting a little. Well, actually it's not a total experiment. I've seen this trick somewhere, now it's hard to remember where exactly. I've been feeling like trying it for quite a while, so finally it's time to. I mean, I'm using an object of a diameter a bit thicker than I usually do. So, I've made a few coils. And now, as usual, I continue in a regular way so far. As a rule, I make eight first calls, coils. Four and four more. Now, when I've reached the end of the row, I change the color. Add one more tube. Well, I can add this short tube. And we one more row in a different color. Well, as for colors, you can experiment with them. 
It is actually what I needed a bigger gap inside for. That's why I've used this thicker stick. This way. I'm going to lengthen the tube here as well. The experiment concerns not the aesthetic side only, but the gaps being formed here make it easier to continue working. I've made 8 coils more, after which I continue reinforcing the first row in a usual root weaving technique. The only thing worth your attention is that I make two coils between these working tubes. So I finished weaving the first row. The next steps are up to you. You can either weave a few more two or three rows in a regular root weaving technique or start wrapping right away. Those who watched my previous masterclasses of the past years must remember this technique. What we do is just wrap in the back and tubes. In a root weaving technique, we make a gap for weaving this way. While in wrapping technique, we just pierce under the row with a knoll or whatever you have. In my case, this is a wooden stick. It is actually made for barbecue. Well, it used to be sharpened, but now it has been polished in the process of weaving already. So we are weaving a row in a normal wrapping technique. The first row of wrapping has been finished. Now we are going to perform wrapping in an opposite direction. For this purpose I do the following. Well, take a look once again, please. This way I would have continued. But in order to make wrapping in the opposite direction, I lead this working tube under the tubes of the base and continue wrapping leading the tubes this way now. I'm getting such an interesting corner shape between the tubes of two rows. Can you see it? Lens in the tube. Now in order to lens in it you have to turn the work over. Reach the end of the row in an opposite wrapping technique. And after this I perform the same steps and change direction. And start the wrapping again. This way. Notice that I have changed the direction once again and such an interesting herringbone pattern is getting formed. This technique is faster to weave. This is what concerns advantages. This type of weaving is less tight than usual root weaving, but after coating it becomes as, as strong as wood.
And let's continue until the end of the row. I've reached the end of the row, after which there is a following interesting point. If I finish the row in the same way as I usually do, after which I change the direction, the coils will double in an untidy way. That's why on the other works I've tried alternating the rows. One point in one row and indent a little in the following row. This way I place short coils in different points. Well, if you can think of an option to make this transition from row to row invisible, share it please, I'll be very grateful, as well as other viewers, I'm sure. Take a look at another interesting point, please. One important task is to make the transition as invisible as possible. The second point takes place when the intervals between the coils become bigger. The question is how to add coils. I'm going to add coils in the following row. So far I continue wrapping the row. I finished one more row. Let's make a transition. After which, in the next row, I add more coils to wrapping one by one. Lens in the tube. Make the angle as sharp as you can when cutting the tube. and push it under the row very tightly. After which I continue the wrapping, making two coils in each interval. I find it easier to add coils when making a straightforward wrapping, not an opposite one. As for you, you can choose which is easier for you. And continue this way until the end of the row, adding the coils. this way. Now please notice that adding the coils doesn't spoil the pattern. Oops, sweet, please. I had to make a transition. Let's perform it. Now I'm weaving in an opposite wrapping technique. In this point of transition, it's important to flatten the item like this, in order to avoid extra volume and extra bulges. This way. Now I perform the opposite wrap and making a coil in every interval. The number of coils has been doubled, 
After this, I continue weaving a few rows with no changes. Well, it depends on, on the diameter of the bottom. Take a look, please. I'm not going to continue. You can see that there are corners being formed in the pattern again. And continue weaving this way. After a while I will leave the tubes. I'm not going to show you the way I do, just as we usually do in root weaving. Continue weaving. The pattern I've shown you is somewhat similar to the one I've applied to this tree. The difference is that this one is more difficult to weave. It is performed with two tubes. I've shown it in the previous videos already. As for the current pattern, it is very easy to weave, but it looks rather interesting too. I do like it. Let me announce the common masterclass. It is how we finish the work this way. I've tried it on a few works, including the ones like this. I'll tell you a bit more about them in the next masterclass.